cheeky crumbs. Today we're gonna to be making a beautiful and extremely delicious vegan cake. This is for my friend's birthday and she can't eat any chocolate or eggs and butter and things like that, so I made her a special little cake. Let's get started. What you're gonna need, two dots. 160 grams of flour, 40 grams of cocoa powder, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and half a teaspoon of baking soda, 70 grams of tahini, 200 grams of sugar, 235 grams of water, one little vanilla pack, and to decorate some raspberries, some raspberry jam and some icing sugar. And I'm gonna be using an 18 centimeter pan today. Start by preheating your oven to 180 degrees Celsius. In a kitchen robot or in a large bowl with a handheld mixer, you're gonna put your tahini inside. Make sure you get all of it out. Your cold water and your sugar. And you're gonna mix on medium speed until it all comes together. After about two minutes of mixing, it should look like this. And in a larger bowl, I have sifted in all my dry ingredients. So my flour, my cocoa powder, my baking soda, my baking powder, and va my vanilla. And we're just gonna pour this in. And you're now gonna mix on medium high speed for a good two to three minutes. Give it a good little spin. Now that our cake has come together, and don't forget to scrape with a spatula the sides and then mixing it some more so you get it all nice and even. We're gonna take a little bit of olive oil and just pour some inside the cake tin. And using your silicone brush or, or normal brush, we're just gonna brush this on the bottom and the sides. So we're just gonna brush the pan. Okay, then on the bottom, we're gonna use a little parchment disc and place it on there, just like that. And you can give it a little additional brush of oil if you like, just with the excess that's still on the brush. Okay, and now we're ready to put our cake mix into the cake bowl. So we're gonna pour our cake mix into the tin. And I'm making this birthday cake for a very special friend of mine. And she has a very restricted diet. <laughs> so this eggless, butterless, milkless <laughs> cake is specially made for her. Your cake will need to bake for 35 to 40 minutes. Um, and always use the little skewer test. When it comes out clean, it's ready to eat. Okay, so I've had a little issue. My pan is leaking. This is broken, I need to throw it away. So I've had to improvise and I have a smaller one. So it's just gonna come a little smaller but taller. And I'm just gonna transfer my cake mixture into here. So here is our cooked cake that we still need to decorate. And I made a rhyme. And we're gonna be cutting the top off because we wanna lay our raspberries on the top. And this is quite a dense and creamy cake because of the lack of eggs that will, you know, will make it come together and the tahini is very creamy. So it, it looks like it's a little, I wouldn't say raw, but just like creamy-like and brownie-like, I would call it, in the center. But don't be afraid, it is okay. So we're just gonna, I'm using this cutter, which I find very comfortable, to be honest with you. And we're just gonna cut the top off so that it no longer has this balloon effect. <laughs> so I've been eating the top and I swear it's so good. Like it's so rich, creamy, like a brownie. And I'm not one to usually say like vegan stuff is really good or anything, but I have to say this is amazing. Like I would eat this every day. 
So anyway, I've cut my cake in half, as you can see, and you can see it's very closely textured, but I promise you this texture is so much better than it being really, really light and fluffy. I think if I had baked it a little like 15 minutes more, it probably would have been more like light and fluffy, but I'm happy I took it out because it's so rich. It's like a real chocolate cake. This is divine. So now I'm gonna put my raspberry jam. So you just pop some on and you spread it out and make sure it, you can go to the edges but make sure you don't leave like this much at the edge because we're gonna have an overspill so go to the edge but leave a thin layer now i have cut some raspberries in in half essentially and i'm just gonna place them on the cake just like that those were two pieces So this is the little inside of the cake and honestly I think it looks pretty amazing. I mean this would actually be kind of a cool decoration to make on the top as well now that I think about it. Um, so I have put some jam on my second layer and as you already know, as I've said this before, I like to use the bottom of the cake as my top because it's the flattest part. And so when it's the flattest part it's the easiest to decorate. So but now comes the hard part. Because I'm gonna have to take this cake, try my best not to break it, flip it over onto here. I'm actually gonna flip it like that, I think. Yay! Oh no! Not a problem. <laughs> so I'm gonna go wash my hands and be right back. <laughs> okay, so the cake is safe and sound. We do have a little bit of cracks here and there. But I mean, nothing that... Oh, and over here, I had... Um, it was falling down. So I put a whole um, raspberry down there just to hold it up. All I did was I took a raspberry and just went like that, literally. Like that. Just so that it would hold it up better. So you can play around with that. So my friend can't eat any chocolate. She can eat cocoa powder, but no chocolate. So to make the raspberries stick on the top, I'm going to put another thin layer of jam. If you can eat uh, chocolate, you can put chocolate ganache. I'm sure it will taste yummy anyway. Okay, so I've spread a little jam and now I'm just going to place my raspberries all around the cake and I want to fill it, fill it, fill it all the way. So here it is, my first ever vegan cake. I think it's vegan, no eggs, no butter. Yeah, I think it's vegan. And I'm super happy with it and I'm sure my friend will be also. Super nice and you can see the, raw, the raspberries in the first layer. And overall, I'm really, really, really happy with it. I hope you enjoyed my video and if you did, give me a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments uh, below if you liked this cake as much as I did and promise me you're gonna try and make it because it's really tasty. Even if you're not vegan, it is delicious. And let me know what you would like me to make in my future videos. Subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more and I'll see you next time. Bye!